So, if you're someone who plays an FPS game like CSGO or anything like it that uses a crosshair, you guys know that crosshair customization is very, very important. A lot of these games will sometimes include some customization, but a lot straight up don't. In fact, some games straight up don't even have crosshairs in times where you really would want to use them. So how do you get better customization and how do you get a crosshair in places where some games don't offer one? Today, I want to show you guys Crosshair X, a program that can do exactly what I just described, and it's an application that's actually on Steam that you can purchase and have running in the background of your computer for any game. I do want to give a big shout out to the developer of Crosshair X as well, Centerpoint Gaming, for actually sponsoring this video. With that out of the way though, let's get right into exactly what the program does. Right off the bat, I'm going to cover this first. This is not a free program. This is a program that does cost about $4 USD. Don't mind this best price thing that they're giving you here. This was a past sale that Steam did. I don't really know why they're displaying this price, but it's not $1.99. I will say though, from the time that I've already spent messing around with the program by myself, I will say that the $4 price point is actually really not bad and let's be real if you play CSGO all you have to do is sell a couple of skins and you can get this for free. <laughs> Anyways though, if you do decide to purchase Crosshair X, this is pretty much what it's going to look like when you do purchase it. It's going to show up in your game category in Steam just like a typical game, even though it is technically a background program and not actually a game. When you download and launch the application, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. It's going to start you off on the explore page where you can pretty much browse through a bunch of different crosshairs that people have made within the community or even featured crosshairs. And of course, if those aren't enough for you, you can browse through the featured, community section, or even your saved if you have any saved. If you're not interested in looking at what other people have made and you just strictly want to make your own, then you're going to come down here to the designer tab right here where you can strictly design your own crosshair from scratch. This is where Crosshair X really comes in handy because there's just so many different options for you to be able to customize your crosshair. And like I said, you can use this in any game. There's no downsides. Now, before I start messing around with custom crosshairs, I want to get some of the basics out of the way because there are a couple of setup things you will need to do if you do download this program. I'm just going to randomly select a crosshair from the community tab here. For example, we're going to go with this this green one right here. You guys will see that if I click on this, nothing is showing up on my screen yet. For those of you who are following along with me in the video, something may come up on your screen, but if nothing doesn't, don't worry about it. In order to get the crosshair overlay to show up in game and to not be blocked by any full screen or full screen windowed mode, you have to come down to this tab that says exclusive full screen. Once you click this, it's going to open you up to a bunch of different directions. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see the different modes that are offered. For the mode here, make sure this is set on exclusive full screen. Again, this is going to make it so that your crosshair overlay actually shows shows up in game and then come back up to the top and you do want to click this little link button it's going to take you to the windows store where you're going to want to install this crosser x extension go ahead and install this because we will need this for this to work as well once those steps are done the last thing we need to do is go to our xbox game bar because this is what we're actually going to use to keep that crosshair permanently displayed on screen no matter what application you're running to do this all you're going to do is press your windows key and your g key at the same time or just come down to your search bar and type in xbox game bar it should come up pretty quickly once you open up the game bar it's going to open up all these little boxes and kind of black out your background a little bit. Now, right off the bat, you guys can see that example crosshair that I selected a couple of minutes ago is already right there in the middle of the screen. For some of you guys, it might also appear up here if you have selected an example one like I did too. But if it's not showing up at all, just simply click this widgets menu right here and then make sure the crosshair X extension is clicked so that it does show up on your screen. From there, of course, you're gonna wanna go ahead and center it and then also click pin. This will keep it here in the center of the screen so if something does happen, it won't move around. Now, again, we do want this to show up on all of our applications regardless of whether the game bar is open or closed. Again, some of you guys' crosshair might actually start off looking like this where it says enable click through. Click through is basically what allows us to see the crosshair no matter what's running. And to enable this, all you do is literally go up here and click this little mouse button and that's it. Once you click that, you're fully set and ready to go. You guys can already see my example crosshair showing up here on screen. And now if I actually open up any application, it's going to be there now. That's pretty much how you set up Crosshair X. And now the customization is completely up to you. Again, you can fully customize almost any aspect of the crosshair from opacity, thickness, diameter. You can make the most custom crosshair you would like. You can make the... <laughs> let's, let's see. Oh, oh, that looks amazing. Let's see what the most pro crosshair right here I'm making. Look at that pro crosshair beautiful. But yeah, you have all these customization controls. You can do whatever you want. And then all you got to do is go in game and use it. All right. So now we're in CSGO. You guys can see my custom crosshairs right there smack dab in the middle of the screen. And actually my real crosshair is hidden directly in the middle of it. Keep in mind with whatever game you're using this in, if the game does have a basic crosshair already in it, you're going to have to disable that somehow to be able to fully take advantage of crosshair X so that you don't have two crosshairs overlaying each other. But uh, yeah, this does work. So now if we try to go and use it, you guys can see see that it it technically does work yeah now one thing I do want to add in real fast too for my CSGO players 
If you guys do decide to use Crosshair X, keep in mind that, as we know, both the Op and the Scout, they don't have Crosshair, so when you want to come in no scope, you kind of just have to guess. But with Crosshair X, you don't have to do that. You can literally make Crosshairs that will get you no scopes every time. It is so, so OP. I love doing this. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If Crosshair X is something that you guys would like to use, definitely go check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, with all that said, though, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, definitely make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. A huge shout out again to Centerpoint Gaming for sponsoring today's video. And with all that said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.